वेलकम इन दिस लेक्चर वी वुड टॉक अबाउट सम ऑफ द मेजर ए आई टाइप्स एंड टूल्स एंड देन वील अंडरस्टैंड द कंपनीज विच हैव प्रमोटेड दीज ए आई टूल्स एंड द एप्लीकेशन अंडर वेरियस हेड्स सो टू फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस और वॉट इज कॉल्ड एज ए आई कुड बी ब्रॉडली क्लासिफाइड इन टू फोर टाइप्स द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑफ दीज आर द टू टाइप्स विच इज द जनरेटिव एंड कॉन्वर्सेशनल ए आई एंड देन वील ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट नैरो एंड एक्सप्लेनेबल ए आई बट नॉट इन दैट डिटेल two most important ones that we would figure out today and their types and examples is the generative ai and conversational ai now the conversational ai as the name suggests is conversation with someone so it's back and forth that means let's say you are there and I, you are asking me a question so i'll reply back so this happens through the natural machine learning or uh, the natural process through which machines are trained to interact with human beings and generate dialogues which are similar to human beings so that it appears more natural good examples to understand conversational ai would be siri by apple alexa by amazon then you have google assistant in most of your smartphones now the next one that we will discuss is generative ai generative ai has real world applications in the sense that it would generate uh, text it would generate chatbot functionality so it can be used for customer service it can be used for text generation for uh data discovery for data creation for various predictive studies and predictive models so to understand broadly the difference between generative and conversational ai i repeat again conversational ai is training of the data sets with human dialogue using back and forth communication so machines are learned to interact in a way or simulate human beings in a very simple language and this uh examples as we already mentioned are alexa siri google assistant and so on now these can be used as virtual assistant uh they can be used as chatbots as messaging apps and so on whereas uh, when we talk about generative app they have a capability to generate now generate what generate a new content now this can be a content which can be in the form of text images visuals audio it can be in the form of animation again it requires machine learning but there are certain set of algorithms which are used common of the generative ais that we have heard about is chat gpt or gpt4 as it is called as then you have uh, bard google bard which was previously bard now it is gemini <clears throat> similarly jasper is another one we'll be talking about a list of these generative and conversational ai as we proceed in this lecture they are extremely important there could be simple questions asked about which of these are generative which of these are conversational then which of these are used for which purpose which companies have developed which of these so those are some of the common sets of questions that you can expect but yes ai has become a very very important topic the idea is under generative ai there are neural networks which are used to identify the pattern and train the data sets these data sets could be large language models a large accumulation of data on which they are trained and then there is also supervised learning that means human feedback can be incorporated to rectify their results and these feedbacks could actually bring in better responses in the future also this generative ai has one of the concepts which is known as foundation models now what are foundation models foundation models are again ai generated neural networks or uh, machine learning models that are trained exclusively on large set of data now when they are trained on large set of data the leading ones are gtp gpt4 that is the chat gpt palm 2 is another important one and they mainly are used with translation of text they are used with the um, creation of content analysis of image and so on and so forth now understanding the differences between conversational and generative ai so conversational ai focuses on human conversation right however a generative ai would form on creation of content now application for conversational it is mainly used for customer service uh it is used as virtual assistant it can be used with chatbots 
However, generative AI is mainly used to write. So writing letters, writing articles, writing marketing content or a meta description of a video of a product can be some of the uses of generative AI. Now, how they learn? So conversational AI learn with human input. So this would learn with human input because there has to be a human interaction a one on one conversation through which the uh, machine models are trained okay however generative ai would work on data sets so it would be a large set of data on which they would be working and they would create predictive contents or predictive patterns for future right now under conversational ai again the user inputs the information so when i am speaking i am inputting the information in the conversation and that is learned by the machine and then machine would give a response so user would input an information in the case of conversational ai however in the case of generative ai the data is generated through the learned patterns which are preset right so they are uh, the input data and this input data are are pre um, are given beforehand and based on those data understanding those data learning those data new content and new information in its language is generated now there are certain chatbots so we would be talking about major of each in each category in case of generative ai we would talk about generative ai for creators for developers for businesses as chatbots so let's proceed with them one on one so these are for chatbots now what we have done is brought in the logo for each of these generative ais so the first logo as you can easily identify is chat gpt now chat gpt is mainly a large language model and content creation it is used for content creation and large language model the next here is gemini which was previously called as bard this is by google chat gpt is by microsoft now gemini or uh, previously called as bard is used for real time online resource and connectivity so it's used for real time online resource generation the next is cloud now cloud is considered best for ethical and secure business content generation exclusively for business purposes so this is cloud the next one is bloom now bloom is considered best for ai text completion so uh, when you are using ai for completing the text in that case we use bloom the next one is important it is kohare generate now kohare generate is a one of the best softwares for direct api integration so if you are using an api integration on the websites on the web portals kohare generate is one of the models or uh, one of the uh, ai generative ais that you would be using the next is pi it is considered as best for per 